Okay, so iOS 17 has been out for a couple of days now, and as per usual, I'd like to come back and share with you guys any additional details in regards to battery, bugs, performance, and new features. By the way, there's some awesome exclusive new features only available on iPhone 15, which I wanted to share with you guys in today's video, and so much more. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my personal experience with iOS 17, the official final release a couple of days later. Now, initially when I installed the software there was some minor freezing and bugs and this is normal behavior when you install a major update you could encounter some minor freezing that is because the software is settling down everything is indexing into place and it could take some time for everything to sort of stabilize now a couple of days later i have to say guys i haven't encountered too many bugs or issues at all on the software which is quite surprising everything is running very very smooth and very nice in terms of battery performance i know you guys always ask in regards to the battery it it could get better it could be improved in the future but as of right now the battery on ios 17 gets me through my entire day which i'm happy to report everything is settled down stabilized and i get through my entire day on my main device the iphone 14 pro max one thing i've been noticing over the past couple of weeks and months is that my battery health continues to drop a one percent basically every week or every other week so i'm at 90 percent at this point and i haven't really done anything different with iphone 14 pro max aside from using standard standby mode with MagSafe overnight. That's basically the only thing I've done different in comparison to other iPhones and the battery health has just dropped dramatically on this device over the past couple of months. I'm not sure if in the future we'll find out if there's any chemical issues with the actual physical battery on the iPhone, but that's for a different video. Now let's talk about performance because I did run a benchmark here. This is beta eight versus the final release here. And as you can see here, beta eight, the single core score was 2,650. 14 versus the official release which is 2634 so a slight minor upgrade here and on the multi-core performance the beta 8 was 6598 versus the official release 6764 so we saw a slight bump in performance here with ios 17 now for those of you asking there was a carrier update available here in the u.s for verizon customers i'm not sure if everyone got a new carrier update but if you haven't checked just yet you can go into to the settings application on your iPhone if you go into the general and about section if there's any carrier update make sure you update those carrier settings I did get that in the first day after updating to iOS 17 I did restore my device to the official final release but for those of you running the RC you're basically on the same build number is the same software for those of you that were asking about that as well now let's take a look at the Twitter community poll because I did run a Twitter community poll for you guys and I did ask a of course how is ios 17 working for you so far now it looks like a lot of you guys are having a great experience so far with a 67 percent of you guys saying that you're having a great experience a 26 percent of you guys say there's some bugs i would like to know which bugs if you guys can comment those in the comments down below some of you say it's very buggy a three percent of you guys and a four percent of you guys say is terrible so right now i have to say the software has been performing very well for me but again every situation is different every device is different i would like to know in those comments down below which device are you using if you're encountering any issues and what types of issues are you running into with ios 17 so now let's go ahead and shift into some of the exclusive features available only on iphone 15. so apple has added some exclusive features to the iphone 15 and i'm hoping that this will be coming down to other iphones as well like the 14 13 12 11 and so on so if we go into settings here we go into general and then we go into the about section under coverage on iphone 15 you now get a battery section as you can see right there you see the manufacturer date which is of course going to be june of 2023 for the iphone 15 first use on september of 2023 and then you get the cycle count so the battery cycle count is also available under the about section in ios 17 for iphone 15 users again i'm hoping that apple will bring this to other iphones in the near future i don't see why they wouldn't want to bring this over to the older devices but ios 17.1 could be right around the corner we'll talk about that here in just a few seconds now if we go into the battery section in ios 17 for iphone 15 and 15 pro under optimize 
optimized battery charging, there's three new options where you can enable the feature, turn it off altogether, or only charge your iPhone up to 80%. And Apple says that this will help preserve the battery health of your iPhone over time. But as of right now, the feature is not available for all devices. As you can see right here on this 14 Pro Max, you only get the option to turn it on or off. But on iPhone 15, you get three options in order to use this feature on your device, which is, again, something that I'm hoping Apple will bring over to every single device in the near future. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is iOS 17.1 Beta 1. Now, last year with iOS 16 release, Apple also released iOS 16.1 Beta 1 two days later. So this year, that did not happen. Apple released iOS 17 on Monday the 18th. So that would have happened yesterday if the same schedule would have been applied this year since Apple did not release. I'm thinking next week we'll see iOS 17.1 Beta 1 and Hopefully this will bring a lot of the iPhone 15 features that we just talked about over to older iPhones as well. We'll have to wait and see. But at this point, I think Apple could release this software 17.1 Beta 1 as early as September the 25th or the 26th. So next week, stay tuned here to the channel, of course, for additional coverage. A lot of iPhone 15 coverage coming up, of course. Stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.